The 300 to 400 cc bike segment in India is hot, really hot. Arguably, it could be one of the most competitive bike segments in the entire country. And in our country, the fun and easy-going nature of roadsters make them amazing daily riders. So today we're going to be testing two of such 300 to 400 cc roadsters to see which one is the right one for you. Is it the brutish Anglo-Indian Triumph Speed 400 or is it the Indo-American animal, the Hero Maverick 440? Time to find out. I really like the way the Maverick actually looks. I love how muscular the shape of the tank is, how tall it actually is. The shrouds are also very neatly integrated into the body and even from the front, the headlight looks very premium. Overall, it's a very elegant motorcycle and it is longer and wider than the speed, giving it much more presence in first glance. However, there are a couple of things that didn't really sit well with me. Like the mud guard in the rear, it's massive and it's very strong built. So yeah, it might not break, but it makes a weird noise when you go over bumps. And uh, even the dual shocks in the back don't really scream sporty to me, which is something I personally don't like. But overall, the bike looks very mean and it definitely imposes a second glance. But the Speed 400, on the other hand, blends retro styling into a compact motorcycle. And the execution, just like in the Maverick, is very well done. I love the styling of the Triumph ever since it came out. Uh, the teardrop-shaped tank, the offset fuel cap, the vents on the airbox, and even the golden USD forks along with the upswept exhaust. All of it looks very nice and all in place. But as I mentioned, it is a small motorcycle which might make it look more humble than it actually is and that could be a party pooper for some. We've had the Speed 400 on our channel before and we were so impressed with how the most accessible Triumph performs. It's a solid engine providing a lovely spread of torque in the mid-range. It pulls in a linear manner and it sounds so nice on the fly. After pushing the motorcycle, it burbles on the overrun. This could very well be among the most refined engines in the segment and when it comes to dropping anchor, the front disc gives a good amount of feedback and the bite is great so you have a very good idea of what's happening in the front. The rear brake, however, felt a little spongy but they have good stopping power when needed. The Speed 400 rides well in traffic too. The clutch feels light and the gearbox is smooth. One could consider the Triumph to be stiff but in my opinion, it's in the perfect spot. It's not too soft that you will be struggling to put the power down and it's not too tightly sprung that you will be in pain after a bumpy ride. It's sporty though and there's no two ways about it. The chassis is well balanced too. Slow speed maneuvers are a piece of cake in the speed with a lower center of gravity compared to the Maverick. That being said, the Maverick is no slouch. Yes, you have a slower, revving, less powerful engine, but the fun is in how it behaves. The Maverick's 27 bhp and 36 Nm of torque are delivered lower down in the rev range compared to the speed. This torquey block feels relaxed for most of the time. The mid-range is smooth and sonorous, while the top end is, well, tapered. But this being an SOHC engine, the bike feels like it takes an eternity to climb through the revs. The higher CGI and the wider, more open stance makes the bike lazier in the twisties, but by no means is it not fun. The chassis is friendly, the block is smooth, and the suspension is compliant. The experience is not as rewarding as the speed, but it also isn't as demanding either. 
the Maverick glides through twisties with poise. One shot coming in the Maverick was the front brake feel. It was on the numb side which draws away some confidence but the rear brakes felt strong and progressive and had ample amounts of power. I really enjoyed the gearbox on the Maverick. It was slick, it was smooth and most importantly it felt premium. The clicks were satisfying and the clutch was also light, making it an easy bike to ride overall. The Hero Maverick 440 is powered by the same engine that comes in the Harley Davidson X440. And it is an old school one. Two valves, air and oil cooled, single overhead cam, 440cc single cylinder engine. It makes 27 bhp and 36 newton meters of torque, which makes it a recipe for a real thumper and it makes a really nice bassy noise. The Speed 400, however, has nothing old school about its engine. Four valves, liquid cooled, 398 cc's, single cylinder engine with a dual overhead cam setup. This pushes out 39 bhp and 37 newton meters of torque, making this the obvious, more performance oriented motorcycle. And you can also consider the fact that it's 12 kgs lighter than the Maverick 440. But how are they when you swing your leg over them? Let's find out. Swing your leg over the Maverick and you're welcome into a very nice, comfortable place. Your legs are pretty upright and ahead of your torso. So you are in a very relaxed position in your lower body. And your upper body is also sitting rather upright with a very small hint of lean forward so that you can have some fun. However, uh, given this setup, you're not going to be able to push the bike to the limit or knee down in it at all. However, it still is a pretty playful place and it's still enough room for you to have some fun around some twisty roads. However, there are a couple of issues that I didn't really like. One was the amount of vibrations I did get from the handlebar and the foot peg, the rubber on the foot peg is very loose. So, it moves and shakes even though you are trying to firmly keep your legs onto the foot pegs and considering that that's one of the places where you get most of your feedback from, it's something that I would worry about. The Speed 400 on the other hand is more committed in terms of riding ergonomics. The foot peg is for the back compared to the Maverick which uh, makes you lean into the bike much better and even the handlebar is further ahead so you are going to be attacking the bike a little bit more compared to the Maverick 440. Under my bum, it feels like a very compact motorcycle giving you the confidence to really chuck this motorcycle about. The best part is that since the bike is so compact, it takes very small inputs to make the bike do what you're asking for. <laughs> So there you go guys, two motorcycles that promise to bring a lot of fun to the urban jungle but they provide them in two very different ways. The best way I can describe it is that the Hero Maverick is that very fun uncle that's always joking and laughing and never taking anything seriously and then when you ask him to actually party, he can party like a rock star in his 20s. On the other hand, the Triumph Speed 400 is the young man that has his shit sorted out, has a good job, lives a good life, is settled. But when you ask him to party, he becomes the highlight of the rager. And that's it from my end. Do let me know what are your thoughts on both these motorcycles and which one would you pick if you had the choice. Do let us know down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Bhavneet. I'll see you guys in the next one.